Hey everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome back to another speed clean with me video. I filmed one of these last week before I had clients coming. You guys know I typically just work once a week with clients depending on the week and depending on my client's schedule, but I typically just work like one day a week. So on that day or the day before, I usually do like a really good clean, like a real, and it's not even like a deep clean of my place, it's just kind of picking things up and making sure that it looks presentable and professional. I think that having a clean and professional workspace is imperative, especially if you work out of your home. I think that it's important to make sure that you maintain that level of professionalism by making sure that you have a clean space for your clients. It's more inviting to them, it's more professional. It's another way that you can separate yourself from a lot of other home-based businesses is making sure that your space like looks really good. So anyway, I wanna make sure that I get it all nice and cleaned up for my clients that is coming in today. I actually only have one today, but I still wanna make sure that it looks really good. So last week's video, when I did the speed clean, it got a lot of positive feedback, so you guys really enjoyed it. I'm excited about that because I know it's a pretty random video, so I'm glad that you liked it. But last week, I had my cleaning lady come, so I didn't have to do like any wiping down or anything like that because I knew that she would be taking care of that. This video I need to pick up, plus I actually need to like wipe down and sweep and vacuum and all that stuff that she was going to do last week. So if she's not coming in, I take care of that all myself for my clients when they're coming. Um, I actually need to clean up the entranceway so it's more inviting to my clients. Um, I have a few bits that I need to sanitize again. Uh, clean up the filming space. I'll show you guys what it looks like right now. I don't know how my nail studio gets so messy. I think <laughs> me not cleaning up after I either do a client or I do my own nails or I film really has a lot to do with how messy this studio gets. I also use my studio sometimes as like a catch-all, which is kind of what's happening here. I've got a lot of host projects going on that I want to get done. This bag is full of a whole bunch of stuff for Rose's upcoming first birthday. Uh, filming desk looks like a giant mess, uh, just as per usual. This is kind of just how it gets. I'm not too sure if you guys are the same way. If I don't make a point of cleaning up immediately following my project, whether that's working on clients or whether that's filming, this is what it ends up like. And a lot of times when I'm done working on my clients or I'm done filming, I just want to get upstairs and be with Rose or be with Steve. So I'm like, oh, I'll do this another day. But on today's agenda, <laughs> I did my nails last night, so it looks pretty messy down here. I didn't do anything super fancy, I just used this Jelly Fit color, which is FW159. Uh, it's a beautiful kind of darker purple on my nails. Uh, it's just a gel polish. It did end up making quite a bit of mess, so I need to clean that up. I've also got some packages and stuff that came in, some new organizing systems that came in. My implements need to be taken care of. I actually, you guys, have been really working hard at reorganizing my swatches and getting them on their appropriate wheels. So this is the system that I've implemented, is putting all my swatch sticks on these wheels. But I'm not too sure if I'm liking this system, so it might not stay like that. But I am making a point of getting these done. For now, I'll leave them on here until I decide what to do with them. But I've been working hard to get some organization systems in place down here. I also have a new priority and filming board that I need to fill out today while I clean. So. All right guys, let's get started. Now that I've given you an overview of the filming studio and my nail space, let's get started with our speed clean. So Rose is not in today's video. She is actually sleeping upstairs. Uh, so I'm actually able to get a little bit more done today, I feel like. She should be out for a good hour here. So let's get cleaning. So first off, I start by removing all of my lights and equipment from my filming studio. I like to keep these put away when my clients are here. Next I'm just going to put away my swatching project. I just don't like to have this out in the open and it's something that I can easily bring out the next time that I need to do it. Lately I've been using different scrapbook papers as my backgrounds for videos. I really like it and think I'm going to have to go to Michael's and get some more different background drops. I am obsessed with this planning board that I got from Michael's. At first I wasn't too sure how I was going to utilize it and then I thought it would go really well in my filming studio for me to keep track of a bunch of different videos that I have in the works, a bunch of different requests from you guys, different series that I'm doing, upcoming videos. I absolutely love this whiteboard and I find that it's working really well to keep me a little bit more organized in my filming space. This basket is actually from Can West. I accidentally took it when I was up there for CNTC Edmonton and right now it just, just houses all of my new products that I plan to do a haul video on soon. When I start tidying up my desk here, I'm putting all of my dirty implements in the dirty box and then I'm just going to keep moving on here and cleaning up my desk. I remove all of my sanding bands from my bits holders. I'm also going to take the time to wipe down my iPad because it got pretty dusty when I was doing my nails the other night. Files, buffers and sanding bands I only use one time on my clients and throw them out after. 
I got lots of questions on where I got this spinny organizer. This is actually from a local store where I live called Bianca's. It's just a liquidation place, but I know I've seen them at Bed Bath & Beyond as well. This little set of drawers I got from Walmart, and I'm really liking it for storing my office supplies that normally sit in my desk drawers. Now this drawer is typically saved for new products or products that need to be put away properly. As you guys can see, it's a giant mess and is in desperate need of reorganization. Right now it's just a catch-all drawer, which kind of drives me nuts, but next I'm going into my crystal drawer to just put away the tile that I used for glue. My husband was helping me move some projects around the nail studio, so all those tools need to go back to their rightful place. I use these glass bowls for acetone or water when I'm going to do painting. I'm just gonna continue cleaning up for my desk here. I'm gonna put everything in the drawers where they belong as well as some nail art that goes in the new nail art drawer. I have some more giveaway items that are just sitting out here that just need to be put away. Don't worry guys, that giveaway video is coming up soon. I keep a lot of my planning stuff in the cupboards on my desk here, so that's all I'm doing now is just putting away some planner stuff that I'd recently purchased. I'm just gonna take some of this air duster and just give my desk a light dusting. I love this stuff for removing nail dust off of my desk, off of my e-file especially, even off of my brush holders and brushes. Anywhere the dust gets on my desk, I find it works really well. I'm going to take some of my Excel wipes and I'm going to give my desk a really good wipe down. These Excel wipes really take care of wiping your desk properly and make sure everything is nice and sanitized. I also clean inside my lights and on top of my lights, anywhere that my clients might have touched. Just for an added measure of sanitization, I like to Lysol wipe my desk down as well. I don't do the double sanitization after every single client, but I do like to wipe my desk down with Lysol at least once a week. So right now, I'm just setting my desk up the way that I like it for my clients. I make sure that the rest that they rest their hands on is nice and clean and sanitized. I also take some paper towel, some of my hand towels, put down my big hand towel first, put some paper towel on top of it. This catches a lot of the dust. I actually prefer to use the Light All Against Big Wipes or Soft Landing Wipes instead of paper towel, but I'm currently out of them. I also like to make sure I have a face cloth that sits on my lap. This is what I use to wipe my hands off if I get any gel or anything on them. Now I'm just setting out my clean and sanitized implements. I do have some implements that need to be sanitized, which we'll get to in a little bit. Lastly, I bring out my brush holder and my desk is all ready to go. I bought some decorative flowers that I'm just going to set out here for a little bit more decor in my nail studio. So I wanted to update you guys on the cable management situation. My husband and I went and bought stuff to do the cable management situation. So we will get that done. Honestly, you guys, it's just so hard to get projects done with a baby. I try not to use that as an excuse, but it really is. My husband has spray painted what he needs to spray paint and now we just need to like put it into place. So that is hopefully going to get done this weekend. While I was organizing my desk, I found my little book here that I use to keep track of video ideas, video request ideas, and I realized I didn't have a bunch of them on my priority board. I like to have this separate little notebook because it follows me around the house in case I ever have any ideas that come to mind. I honestly keep it beside me when I'm working on my clients because a lot of times I think of different video ideas then, or if I'm replying back to comments on YouTube, I'll write down different request ideas then. Now we're going to go sanitize our bits. I keep a little post-it note above my sanitizer when it needs to be changed. First I'm going to fill a sink here with antibacterial soap. This is what I'm going to wash all the debris and anything on that's left on my implements off of. I let them soak in here for a little bit while I change my sanitizer. I start by emptying everything out of my sanitizing box here, giving it a good rinse out. I want to make sure that I'm wearing gloves for this because if you get any of this sanitizer, which is a CS20 or preempt, on your hands, it can cause a chemical reaction and actually burn your skin. I give my sanitizing box a good wipe down and then a really good rinse with super hot water and I set it out to dry. I make sure to give all of my sanitizing box a really good pat down and dry them all off here. I'm going to fill my box here with a whole bunch of CS20, which is now called preempt. I make sure to write the new date of the expiry and when it needs to be changed and put my post-it back up on the wall. Now let's go back to scrubbing off all of my implements. I give them a good scrub down to make sure that there's no dust or skin particles or any sort of debris left on them. And then I put them in my drying strainer over here. After I have them all nice and wiped down, I give them a really good hot rinse. After I rinse them off, I give them a good pat dry here and put them in my sanitizing solution. I do want to address something that was brought up in my last cleaning video. 
And I want to say that every single area has different measures of sanitization and practices and codes that they need to follow. What I do for my sanitizing of my implements and my bits and everything is actually above and beyond what is required of me. Because I don't work with blood or any, or any sort of critical bodily fluids, I don't have to sterilize my implements. I don't have to put them through an autoclave. None of that is required of me. What I have to do is what I'm showing you guys here. And like I said, I actually go above and beyond what my health standards require me to do because I wanna make sure that I won't have any sort of situation where my clients get any sort of infections or diseases or anything like that. I know that when my clients come to my nail salon, that they are taken care of and everything is properly sanitized to the standards that I need to follow. Next, I'm putting all of my bits into this bit cleaner here. Then I'm gonna take some of my Can West bit cleaner just a little bit because you need to change the Can West Bit Cleaner after every single time you use it. And I'm gonna let those sit and all of my implements sit for 20 minutes. Next I'm gonna move on to cleaning the bathroom that is available to, for my clients use. I make sure that all of my towels and everything are put away and then I make sure to wipe down the counters and the toilet and everything so it's all nice and sanitized and ready for my clients if they need to use them. So Miss Monkey woke up. So she usually plays in her crib for a little bit, so I think I'm going to quickly vacuum in here, um, vacuum up the stairs, vacuum the entrance, and then go get her. My husband and I actually invested in a really nice Dyson vacuum because of all the glitter in my nail studio and because of all the Swarovski crystals. So I don't even have to sweep the floors, I can just go in with my vacuum here which is made to go on different sorts of flooring and I can just vacuum up all my crystals and glitter and any sort of debris, dust, whatever might be left on the ground here. Next I'm going to vacuum the stairs because this is an area that my clients do see when they're coming downstairs to my home base nail studio. Okay guys, so the nail studio is all clean, filming studio is all clean. Everything is set up and ready to go for my client here. I have my implements all sanitized and all ready to go. Thank you guys for joining me for another speed clean video. If you like these style of videos or kind of like more in the nail studio style of videos, definitely comment below and let me know. I have some fun videos that I wanna film, but seriously, it's on my filming board and with a little one and everything else that I have going on, it's so difficult to get filming these days, but I do want to get some kind of more nail studio videos done as well as those, that organization series that is like high on my priority list. If you guys have a nail studio that you work in like regularly every single day, I definitely recommend making sure that you tidy like this for your clients on a regular basis, whether that's once a day, every other day, however it works for you, but just make sure you have an inviting space for your nail clients to come. So make sure you're following me on all my social media and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.